We just introduced uh, with iOS 8 Touch ID. As a store associate, I can look up your purchase history and help you in the aisle on a project or answer questions about something you've purchased. Sean, thank you very much for speaking to us. So what's happening in, uh, in the consumer digital space and what are you working on that could really transform my life when I visit your <laughs> store next? <laughs> yeah, I think there's a, several things. You know, One of which that's been talked about for quite some time is this whole notion of omni-channel and mm. really making the customer's lives easier so that, as we say, you never have to start over again. So regardless of how you interact with a retailer or any business, um, there's continuity between the interactions and touch points. Um, you know, folks have been talking about this for a while, but actually starting to realize those aspirations is a huge opportunity for, for everyone. So give me an example. Um, so you perform some activity on a website, perhaps you favorite something or create a shopping list. When you go into the store, that exact same uh, product, mm. pricing information is available. Uh, you say something, the store associate can also look that up and look that up and help you uh, with a project if, if that's what you're working on or answer any questions. So um, having that, again, that continuity of information mm -hmm. and data um, so that you never have to start over again is mm -hmm. really appealing not only for the customer, uh, but also as a, as a retailer and uh, making your life easier. And, and what kind of uh, work does it involve on the back end to get all of this to? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, obviously, depending on the company and the industry, there's uh, probably many uh, systems that have cropped up over years, perhaps decades, mm -hmm. uh, that need to be kind of rationalized and, and brought together so that uh, a front end can be put on that experience that delivers, again, on those aspirations. So uh, it could be quite complex and uh, something that uh, the team relishes uh, working on. Right. What are the two or three things that uh, consumers are telling you today, which people like you, and I say, you know, the whole right. sort of retail world has to respond to? I mean, what, what's the what are the big changes that are happening? Yeah, I think one of them uh, in particular is really around personalization, and mm -hmm. um, we've come to this point in a lot of instances where there's been this rush to create this massive volumes of options and products and sometimes that can be overwhelming when you're presented with you know 10,000 search results how do you how do you make that personalized to you so that you're really getting this curated subset of products that may be of interest and really accomplish what it is you're looking for um, so there's this delicate balance between presenting you with all the options that may be appealing, but also making it not so overwhelming uh, so that you don't want to participate. Well, is, are you seeing a commonality between consumers everywhere, I mean, geographically or globally? Right. I mean, are they all behaving similarly? I mean, I'm sure they're not, but what are they, how are you seeing it? Yeah, I mean, there are certainly regional differences, particularly in, in the U.S. where mm. there's a large geographic footprint and mm. you have uh, variations between, say, uh, a population that lives in, in Phoenix in the desert and the Northeast where it's you know quite cold and the uh, the weather patterns vary so um, you know there's uh, definitely optimization that goes on in when products are put in stores and how we present those and and you know talk about those for uh, various regions you know the obvious example is snow blowers aren't <laughs> super popular in Phoenix mm -hmm. um, but of course they're big in the Northeast so how do we bring that forward to you so that you're, again, getting the information that's relevant to you? So what are the one or two new things that you're likely to roll out in coming months, <laughs> if you can talk about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, we just introduced uh, with iOS 8 Touch ID, um, so someone can log into their MyLows account mm -hmm. and also help with the checkout process, literally with uh, Biometric. Touch of a, yeah. Yeah, biometric login, uh, which is really, really you know interesting. We're doing a lot with our store associates as well, so um, it's been widely discussed. We have 42,000 iPhones in our stores, uh, and we continue to add uh, capabilities uh, there to help the customer experience as well as the associate experience. So. Um, as a store associate, I can look up your purchase history and help you in the aisle on a project or answer questions about something you've purchased. I can now, through what we call associate sharing, uh, capture a conversation and a, a list of products and then either print that for you, put it uh, in your MyLows account, or email it to you. So. Uh, a lot of folks have been talking about this connection between the physical and the digital. Mm. Uh, we've really embraced that and continue to push the boundaries in those 
capabilities. Sounds fascinating. Thank you very much for speaking to us. All right. Thank you very thank much you. for having me. Thank you.